Hey everyone, uh, how are you going again today? Lovely Sunday, the uh, the sun's actually out today, it's nowhere near as cold as what it was yesterday. So hopefully you're all out in the garden and, um, I don't know, playing with chili plants, free potting, picking pods, doing whatever it is that you're doing today. Um, Good day. I'm going to repot some soon. Uh, I've got a whole heap of seedlings, so if you still want some, let me know. Um, I need to get rid of them all. I've got heaps more that are still little seedlings that I've got to pot up as well. So hit me up if you're after some. Holly's back on board today. Hello. And uh, what are we doing today? Uh, we're doing some Wiltshire. Wiltshire, yeah. Yeah. Um, chili farm sauces and jams. So what sort of, what jams have we got? We got habanero gold. And we've got Johnny Hagel. Um cranberry kick. And we've also got those two were jams. And we've got this sauce, the Chipotle chili sauce. We had a correction yesterday and we know how to say it properly now. So <laughs> how, how do we say it? Chipotle. Chipotle. Yeah, Chipotle. Cool name. Yeah. Alright, so uh, we're getting a few people come online now. Um, what one do you want to try first? Um, I want to do the habanero gold. Habanero gold. What's that one? Um, it's three chilies on the heat scale. Yeah, so three out of five? Yeah, three out of five. Um, what's that say? A sunny and sweet blend of apricots and habaneros to brighten up your day. Try as a glaze on pork with cheese or even ice cream. Cool. So Holly's got a cheese ready. Uh, there's not much left of that jam that we tried yesterday, the White's Valley Jalapenos. Uh, that one's pretty much gone now, so uh, we're going to have to get some more of that yeah. one. Alright, so you want to try that one first? Yep. Cool. Oh, mussels. Smells good. It's a lot thicker than the one we had yesterday. Way thicker. Like... It's actually set like a proper jam. This, well, yeah. set like a jam. Yeah, it's like it's not going anywhere. Cool. So heat scale three out of five, this one's got on there, so I suspect it's probably gonna be a little bit warmer than yesterday. Um, you wanna try it on the spoon or on cheese? What do you wanna do first? Um, I'm gonna do it on cheese. On cheese? Alright. Oh, that. that what well, yeah, Johnny that's that very thick. <laughs> yeah. That one yesterday, that was amazing. It was we took it inside and uh, even uh, Poppy ended up having some and he just big slab of cheese with a smear of it across the top. It and he really, hates chili. It was really, really tasty. Hey Daniel, how you going? So you're going to do it on, the, on some cheese. This one is a lot thicker than yesterday. And it's got a real nice consistency to it. This is what I'm used to for a jam. This is what you smear on your yeah, toast in the morning. Yeah, this is the jam. Not as sweet as the one yesterday. Get that nice habanero flavour come through it. It's not overpowering. Sweetness a little bit now. Yeah. Starting to come through. At like the end. Yeah. I just got a little bit of um, it on my the back of my throat. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Just in the back of the throat. Nothing in the mouth at all. Just a little bit in the back of the throat. What's it like with the cheese? Really nice. Yeah. It, it actually tastes sweeter with cheese. Okay. I think we've got a bit of cheese, don't we? Yeah. Or an old style cheese, or I can't remember what they call it. Mm. Cheese is good. Cheese is good? Yeah. Yeah, that is tasty with cheese. Mm. So that'd be another really good one on a platter. But I can see how using that as a glaze on your pork and stuff like that. Oh, that roast pork that we had the other night. Mm, that would be yum. Just because it does have a little bit of a, a, t a twang to it. It's really tasty with your pork, just to cut through that fat that's in there. Hey Trev, how you going? Hello. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Alright, so, do you reckon it's a, a 3 out of 5 for heat? Not really. I'm struggling to get to a 1. For me, at least, it's, it's a little bit hard to get to a 1. What do you think? It's like less heat than like yesterday's first jam. Yeah, I agree with that. Because yesterday's first jam was like no heat. No, but it is a nice jam. Mm. 
Cool. So what's the other one we've got? The cranberry kick. Chili jam. And what's the heat scale on that one? Um, all of these today I chose them out. Um, all of them I have a three chili out of five scale. Do you like cranberries? Cranberries? Never tried it. That one actually looks a lot thinner already compared yeah, to the other one. I can move it around. But with cranberry, when you have it on turkey, you normally smear it across the top anyway, so... Stuck in the lid. How's it smell? Smells like cranberry. I'm not a big... I don't... I don't I've never tried cranberry. No, you're about to find out. <laughs> actually smells pretty good. It's really thick around the outside. I think it's just where it's congealed a little bit. But in the middle, we'll just stir it up a little bit. It's thin, but it's thick. Yeah. Uh, habaneros, kind of, this one's a habaneros again. As a finishing kick to sweet and savoury dishes. Give your turkey a twist. Oh yeah, put it in your porridge. Hot porridge or winter. And give some cheese heat as well. So, it's enough to sort of have a little bit of a dollop on the bottom. Slightly thinner than the other one. Sort of moves. A little like bit. Like Alright. I'm gonna have it on cheese because I like cheese. Well, I know you like cheese. A really strong cranberry flavour straight away. <laughs> sweeter than the first one. Definitely a lot sweeter than the first one. And you're putting the lid on straight away. No, I like it. Not a big fan of cranberry though. No? Yeah. What do you think of the heat? It's like the same as the first one. There's no heat. You get any in the mouth at all? Not really. Not really? No. You can't see if any comments are coming through on there anymore guys, so I don't know if you are still watching or not. Um, That's a really tasty sauce, so uh, for a jam. I can see how people would recommend that to have in porridge. You definitely mix that through, just add a little bit of sweetness to a bland food, the bland food, and that's actually quite tasty. We have some more of that one. I like cranberry. It is actually really tasty, but I'm not a big fan of cranberry. We haven't got the sniffles yet. No, interesting. No. So I stay heat on that one, it's back to a one again, like there's not a great deal of heat in that one. Hey Corey, how you going? We're just trying some uh, Wiltshire, Wiltshire uh, jams. We've got the habanero gold and cranberry kick, and then we've also got a uh, chipotle uh, sauce that we're going to try as well. So we've just done the two jams, not a lot of heat, um, but definitely got some flavour to it. Cool, so they can still see us, so we're not out. Cool. So you want to try that one? Yeah. Yeah. Did you want to try that one by yourself? I did before. Oh, did you? Yeah. Yeah. I left it off for the cheese. Yeah. That one looks a lot thicker already, doesn't it? Yeah. And no stopper. Yeah, no, <laughs> no stopper. So that's a good thing. Did you shake it? Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm mm -hmm. Well, I, I don't know. Yeah, I feel cool. like the first bit's like. Well, oh. it's a trap. You can eat it. No. Why? We're tra there. Okay, we're transferring here. So this one's a really thin sauce. Um, it doesn't look to have a lot of chunks or anything like that in there. It had like a big chunk at the top, so it looked like it was thick. And then when you went to try and pour it, it spilt all yeah. over the place. So this one, uh, what's that? Well, that one's a little bit thicker. Uh, smoky, like smoke, uh, here we go, Mexican smoked jalapenos, tomatoes, molasses, so it should have a bit of sweetness. Uh, intense sauce brings a big ranch flavour to the barbecue. Used as a ketchup, marinade, or a splash into chili con carne. Chili con carne? Yeah. Oh, we need to get you a chili con carne. We'll get you one. What is it? We'll make it one day. It's got mince and chili and it's like a big, healthy, hearty meal. Mm. And it burns. It's really hot. Oh, okay. <laughs> so you're going to try this one on the spoon? Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay. Right. So as always, Holly's got a milk and stuff like that, uh, just in case. She's building up a tolerance slowly, so uh, she's going to have a crack on the spoon. She's got cheese that she'll probably use afterwards just to try and put the burn out, and if that doesn't work, she'll go straight to the milk. Yeah. Yeah, Corey, they, um, they're all pretty tasty. I'm, I'm pretty impressed with all of them at the moment. All right, mm. bottoms up. Yes. That's not bad. Uh, not the smallest little hint of smoky flavour through it. What do you think? Yeah, it's good. <laughs> I thought I had a duck in the throat. Did you put it around your mouth first or you just... Yeah. Yeah? And what about in the mouth? Got any burn in the mouth? No, just the back of the throat. Back of the throat? None of what we've tried today has really had any burn in the mouth, has it? No. Do you reckon, what do you reckon about heat on that one? A two? Yeah. Yeah. One and a half two. Your nose is a little bit red. <laughs> <laughs> so um, that one didn't have a lot of heat to it. It is quite tasty. Um, I wouldn't say that it's going to be one of my favourites to go to, um, but that's just me personally. Um, it's more not... a peach burn flavour. Yeah. No. Look, exactly what Holly just said. There's no real distinctive flavour in there to say I like that or I don't like that. Yeah. I mean, it's tasty, but it's. The little bit of heat that's there is what you actually notice more than anything else. Like the, you, you would normally say you can taste the onion or you can taste the garlic or you can taste the jalapenos or something like that. I couldn't taste anything. That one, it, it's... It's tasty, it's just not over... I wouldn't go back for it. That's just me being honest. So while it is tasty, not a lot of heat, I wouldn't say that I'd go back to that one. The jams though, these they two, good. they're tasty. Yeah. Um, I think Holly's going to be a fan of the jam now because that one yesterday she loved. These ones, I think we've got a couple of other. I think I've even got one down there from Stolka, white and oh, chilies yeah. that we might be able to give a try a little bit later. But um, guys, thanks very much for tuning in. Uh, we might try and get back on a little bit later and uh, see if we can do another review. But uh, in the meantime, enjoy your Sunday in the sun. Catch us around. See ya.